Hi everyone, my name is Aparna Bhatia and this week's tech tip is about how to frame uh, horizontally aligned windows or vertically aligned windows. So um, there is one quick way to do this, or well there's technically two. So one of them is, um, as you can see, like when I just frame it out of the box, uh, when the windows are pretty close to each other, like three inches apart here, um, it doesn't really frame them properly. It doesn't have a header here, doesn't have a sill. Overall, it does not frame them the way we would like. Uh, what I want to do is create a single header for all three openings here, a single sill, no intermediate uh, members in the middle here. Okay. And for the vertically aligned, it's mostly framing correctly, except like these members are being extended out a little too much. Um, so what I would like to do is actually create a single op massive opening that goes like so, have single header, single sill, and then whatever things that I need around here. So to do this, we are going to create something called rule sets and apply them to our panel. So to create a rule set, we are first going to go to marker manager. Give it a second. Inside Marker Manager, we are going to go to um, Project, and then we are going to go to um, Wall Opening Mapping. Okay, so we have a basic rule set already pre created here, which has nothing in it really. Uh, so I'm just going to add to it. I'm just going to create a new one and just add one called Horizontally Aligned. So I first wanted to look for horizontally aligned windows. So here I can specify a width range for my horizontally aligned windows or a gap tolerance or a height range or the number of openings. So I'm going to definitely uh, specify a gap tolerance of um, one foot or six inches. Actually, let's make it six inches. And then over here for the number of openings, I could choose that as an option. But if I have more than two openings or more than three openings, it will not frame it. So I'm going to leave that alone and I'm just going to use the gap up, uh, gap to uh, tolerance of six inches. Here, uh, you can choose if you wanted to apply for a specific level or specific wall type. But for me, I'm actually going to just apply a marker. I want it to be any level, any wall type. I'm using the LGS merged openings marker here. If I want, I can put in a comment here stating that it is horizontally aligned. A L I G N E D, a uh, six inch gap. Just so I know what this um, item is being created for. And there you can see uh, we have a line item for horizontally aligned. Now I want to do the same thing for vertically aligned. So I'll go ahead and hit add rule. And here you'll notice there's vertically aligned. And again, I can choose number of openings. So I'm going to say three openings in this case. Um, you can choose has a beam pocket if you like as well, choose that. Um, I'm going to let it be any wall, any, any level. And again, I'm going to apply the LGS merged openings, um, marker for this. Just put a note for myself, vertically aligned and, uh, three openings. Okay. So here you can see that it says vertically aligned, but it doesn't let you tell you what gap you've used for horizontally aligned and for vertically aligned. It doesn't tell you how many openings. This is why I write myself a note so I know exactly what that is meant for. OK, so I've created my two rules here and then I can go ahead and create my generic rule for any typical opening if I wanted. Um, so always create your more specific rules first and then your more generalized uh, typical opening rules. Um, so what I'll do is I'll add a single window opening with between zero and four feet. And I want to apply the stretch to nearest uh, marker for that. Um, and I can put my put, put in a comment saying zero to four feet um, opening width and the rest I have as an information. So here I have that opening added. Um, I can add another rule for a door if I wanted. So opening width between zero to four feet. 
again, I'm going to apply my um, King's, or sorry, I'll just apply my default non-bearing marker to this. So I'll say um, zero to four feet door opening. I'm oh, sorry, opening width. And that's basically it for me. So here it says single door, single window. So these are the defaults that will follow if it finds those items in this uh, panel as well. So we'll go ahead and hit checkbox. I'll hit update for that marker, hit OK. So what I'll do here is I'll actually make this a little larger. So let's extend um, this wall panel. Let's have it go a little longer. Um, let's add in a door here and let's add in a typical window. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just regenerate this panel and you'll know how it's uh, going to frame typically. Let's let it frame like that. And there you go, it framed everything. I'm just going to hide some uh, visuals for the door just so I can see just the opening. There you go. So now if I apply the rule set to this, so I'll go to MWF, properties for that panel, go to miscellaneous, within opening framing, hit the edit button. Here you'll see those three settings. You can use settings from the openings tab uh, or you can use the mapping rule set. So we're gonna choose mapping rule set and we're gonna use wall opening, uh, which is the one we modified. Okay, and we'll go ahead and hit close and hit OK. And there you go. It actually framed all of these with one header, one header, and no intermediary framing here. It's just treating it as one large opening and one large opening in this condition as well. And that one got applied the stretch to nearest because it had no other openings nearby. And that one just got the typical default uh, framing marker that we have. And that's it for this week's tech tip. Have a great day.